The policeman was not much older than me. His face wore an expression of intense concentration. Excuse me. Not so fast. I'd like your personal details, please. Huh? What for? In the event of an accident. It would help us to know where to send the body. Look, is this really necessary? I came in here to talk to Rosso. Ah, why did you not say? Had any reports concerning a suspicious clown? Why, yes. There was a fracas only this morning. Three arrests for public disorder. And you say there was a clown involved? A clown and a particularly offensive piece of sculpture with balloons. Are you in any way involved with the reprobate, monsieur? No, not me. May I see Inspector Rosso? He is not here. But do you wish to leave a message for him? I have a choice of blue or black pen. I'd recommend the blue for a less formal communication. I'd prefer to talk to him in person. As you wish, monsieur. Do you know anything about Rosso's psychic techniques? I cannot comment on my superior's methods. All I will say is that Inspector Rosso has an impressive record. He's a good detective? One of the best. He's a man of honor with a fine sense of duty. You wouldn't say he was... Uh, a screwball? Not to his face, monsieur. Is Sergeant Moo available? What? You want to speak to him? Yes, please. I cannot recall the last time someone asked to speak to Mu. No one ever speaks to him. Not even his kids. Ah bien. He is not here, monsieur. He is with Inspector Rosso. Like Laurel and Kitten. No, monsieur? Hardy. Oliver Norville Hardy. Take a look at this. Inspector Rosso's personal card. Where did you get this? He gave it to me. Why? I think he was impressed with my powers of observation. He asked me to contact him if I had any information. I see. You are a grass. Thanks for your help, officer.